Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you something that will help people that are struggling getting actual beehives to spawn in. Are you having the issue where you basically go up and hit a beehive and it just demolishes and no queen bee shows up? I'm going to show you how to fix that. This is a super quick, easy fix, actually. So basically what happens is I'm going to go ahead and show the uh, instance foliage right here. So what will happen is whenever you are having issues with these beehives, basically what that means is that a beehive is spawning in and no one is getting to it fast enough. So it's causing this beehive to basically despawn the queen bee that is inside of it. Now, how you can check this is if you walk up to it and you hear like the wow, wow, or whatever that sound is, right? Or if you hit it, and some bees come out of it, it means that you are, uh, that beehive is working. However, if I swing at this thing and none of the bees come out of it, um, when I'm attacking it, that means that it's a broken beehive and the queen bee has despawned herself. Now this happens a lot in solo player and unofficial servers. Whereas on official servers, it happens a lot less commonly because of the lack of restarts and stuff like that, but that'll happen, right? So in order to fix that, what you're going to do is actually pretty easy. There's a set of commands you're going to run, and that command is right over here. So where is it? There we go. Destroy all beehive uh, underscore C. You're going to run that one first, and then what you're going to do directly after running that is destroy all beehive underscore C space one. And that's going to destroy all active beehives. You just saw that one get destroyed over there. And then as soon as that one gets done, just to make sure we respawn wild dinos by destroy wild dinos command. And that's going to wipe all of your beehives and all of your broken beehives inside of the game out. Now all you have to do is wait for the beehives to spawn in and then they will start spawning in with bees in them. However, I will warn you if you do not uh, actively wait for these things because solo player is a little bit janky, it'll cause problems. So you can type in slow mo a thousand and that slow mo a thousand command is going to allow you to basically sit in place and speed up the actual game itself waiting for these things to spawn in because it takes a little bit of time for all of the creatures you can see they're starting to render back in. And then once those slow-mo a thousand, you see it start seeing creatures uh, spawn in, you're able to actually go around and start hunting these bees again. Now, I'm just going to show you that they do spawn back in by kind of going in a circle here. And yes, I'm still show instanced foliage is off. So it makes it quite a bit easier to spot these things, but you're just going to go in a circle. Uh, the redwood seems to be the best place to find beehives. And there we go. There is one spawned in right now. And you can see, there we go. It now works again. How to make these things work again. Pretty simple. Um, it, it's yeah, that's 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 how you fix it So those three commands in combination will fix it and then waiting for the nests to come back in because the problem is essentially you're spawning the uh, The bees get spawned in and they despawn before you can actually do anything about it. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out teach out